Hey, Exoticals, I wanted to talk about how when you're the pretty girl, you get treated like a celebrity. Pretty much wherever you go, you will cause chaos wherever you go. You will have people talking about you behind your back. People trying to exaggerate your flaws. People will purposely try to sabotage you. People will stalk you. People will take your pictures and make fake profiles out of them for catfishing purposes. Wherever, anytime I ever go to a job that's male dominated, I notice that all eyes are on me. At least all the males, the females, if they're looking, it's usually never a good stare or they're overly obsessed with you. Like they wanna overly be your friend. I had this one girl who wanted to be my friend, so she would do every and anything to help me out around the building. But she wouldn't actually say anything. But one day she finally said something to me and me and her was cool ever since. But I noticed her trying to be my friend, trying to do things, trying to do things to get in my in my space or whatever. And that's, that happens a lot. A lot of girls will latch on to me, want to be my friend, especially if they're younger than me. I know the gay dudes, they're always trying to be my friend too, which is cool. I like gay people. But I just noticed the amount of attention is just magnified because I don't see that same activity with other people. I know one, I at one job I worked at, I didn't mean to do, I didn't do anything, but because a guy had a crush on me and he had a friend that also had a crush on me, it caused them to have issues within their friendship and I remember because I was friends with both of them but I remember it causing issues between the two of them because one liked me way more one was more open about it one was more secretive about it but I noticed the friction in their friendship and it was just awkward for me because I was cool with both of them but I, I just felt like I was causing issues even though I wasn't doing anything and then I had left that job, but I remember one of the guys calling me, because me and him was more cooler, telling me that him and Do fell off and got into it over me and was telling me uh, what happened, what the fight was. And I was just like, damn, guys. Y'all was friends longer than I was even at this job. Like, y'all was friends forever. Now y'all not because of me. I don't like when stuff like that happens. I don't like when people fight over me. I've never been a fan of that. Even in in high school, I never liked when dudes fought over me. I never felt special about that. But that happens to a lot of us. People will fight over you. Because you are something that people just want to be attached to people want to be associated with so bad you can tell people want to be associated with you so badly like you can just see it in people you could tell when people have crushes on you <laughs> they're always around you they're always giving you these weird vibes and you can just feel when like I'm a person who can feel energy other people's energy real good and I'm telling y'all the shit is the it's just good it's crazy you might have a nice body, so you know, on top of like on top of having a pretty face and a nice body, you have a personality on top of that. Oh yeah, you're gonna get the celebrity treatment for real. I know for me I have a coke shaped body. I have a natural coke shaped body. And I know that gives a lot of attention. On top of my complexion, on top of my facial features, I just naturally create a lot of attention a lot of male attention and a lot of females that aren't haters who just want to be my friend i attract a lot of them i attract a lot of haters of course so much so to the point where i fear sometimes that if i'm along with the wrong person they might try to hurt me because women are very catty Women have tried to hurt me in the past for no reason. I'm not a mean person. I'm very nice. I'm, I grew up a Christian. 
very Christian based. Even though I'm not a Christian, I'm spiritual now. But I grew up with a lot of morals from that religion that what, that made me who I am today. In my opinion, I have a very nice heart and soul. I have I have a very sweet soul. I'm I'm a very nice person. I'm a Pisces for anybody that that matters to. So, you know, my heart is just so like I have empathy for people, homeless people. Like I have a soft soft heart. I feel like my heart is a little too soft because people tend to run over me. People tend to run over me because I'm so soft. I'm trying to be more assertive. Sometimes I feel like being assertive is mean. That's how nice I am. If that gives you an idea of how nice I am. <laughs> I'm probably too nice. But I'm trying to be more assertive because people don't take me serious. People do not take a nice, pretty girl serious at all. So I'm trying to learn how to be more assertive. Men will naturally want to open doors for you. I know when I didn't have pretty privilege. I know when I didn't have pretty privilege. And I'll do a video about that. I didn't have pretty privilege because I was going through a, a moment in time of my life where I was homeless. And I didn't get the same treatment as when I got myself together. So that's how I know there is a thing as pretty privilege. People go out your way to want to do things for you. For me, I am pursuing modeling and acting and I have a friend at work he want, he's getting into photography and he wants to photo shoot me for free so you'll get freebies a lot of the times people just want to give you stuff a lot of people be wanting to do your hair all the time they want you to be some type of model for them a hair model some type of model we want you to advertise for them their, clothes line, their clothing lines and stuff I've gotten free food before, just for looking good, I guess. Men have offered to pay my lunch in a restaurant before. When they was behind me in line, see me about to pay, they would want to pay for me. I'm like, okay, I appreciate that. I'll take that. People are always asking you where you get your nails done, get this, that, and the third done. Where did you get your outfit from? People just want to overly naturally want to overly help you. Even if you don't need help, they just want to help you. And I just let them. I was like, okay, cool. But this is a safe this is a safe space for attractive women to come on here and just share your experiences. It's an event. So just share whatever you want to share. This is the place for us to just have the safe space to just freely express ourselves. Because nobody else was gonna want to listen to us. People think we're just being if we complain, people think we're being vain, unappreciative, or you're being this, that, and the third. Well, we're not doing that over here. We have a voice over here. We have a space. We have a listening ear. I'm tired of people not wanting to hear us talk because of how we look and this, that, and the third. Like, we're not human anymore. We can't help how other people treat us. That doesn't take away from our human experience. You will cause drama wherever you go. The females are automatic. There's a lot of females that aren't just aren't gonna like you automatically just for how you look. They will try to cause chaos in your life. People will copy your styles. You're a trendsetter. You're a trendsetter just for being you, just for being yourself. People will naturally like you can tell when somebody's copying you, especially if you have a, a especially if you have a unique style, and you see somebody doing it, it's just like obvious. The whole building. I know for me, people knew my name real quick like real real quick and I remember only telling one person my name at this job but people would know your name real quick and in a hurry people would buy you things people have bought me gifts that I didn't really know like that have bought me gifts just out of the blue just because they wanted to I literally have stopped traffic before I've had people in their car stop and try to talk to me if you can't relate to the content please find a channel that you can relate to I'm trying to give pretty, pretty women a voice who don't have one. People think because we're pretty, we got it made, we're perfect, we're, we have this wonderful life. Yes, we get treated like a celebrity, but guess what? There's a negative side that comes with that. More pretty, more problem. So have you ever been through any of these situations? Have you been treated like a celebrity, a local celebrity, because of your looks? 
let me know in the comment section and i'll talk to you guys next time thank you for listening